Saturday for all. Um, I'm showing you first the stacked pierced oval uh, cool cuts, <laughs> the, these uh, die cutting things. Um, when you receive it, if you have ordered it, it's like this together. And I wanted to use that way because you have this perfect uh, thin ovals for your scrapbook layout. Uh, I'm also using crystal letters, I'm using some other stamps and some stencils and a lot of things. These are crystal letters, of the lower ones is the lower the word for this, I don't know. Anyway, uh, I'm scrapbooking a picture of my horse who was having really fun um, in snowy field with the other day, so I wanted to give this uh, layout a title, fun. So I'm repeating the fun word uh, all over the uh, layout. As you saw, I made the first one to the center of the um, area I'm going to use because I wanted to make sure I put those letters <laughs> like they should be. Uh, it, it wouldn't be surprising if I like F, N, and U and not the uh, right way. Uh, then I'm going to take this uh, triangular shaped uh, thing from crystal letters. I think it's for the mark. What, what it is called. Anyway, it's in the same stamp set and I thought it will give some nice nice uh, geometrical shapes on the background. Uh, I didn't use any gesso or anything uh, before stamping because I thought I'm not going to use really wet medias today. So I'm just adding some, some stamp with archival ink. And then I'm taking a little drop of acrylic paint, which is from 13 Arts, and then I'm adding some some water uh, on it and uh, color these triangle uh, shaped uh, stamp patterns with the paint. And as you see, I'm not going to be strict at all. I want it to look like it's just splatters and like that, because the photographs I'm going to use are so so wild and free. I don't want to add any any strict things to this uh, layout. So I'm using the same paint to paint these uh, chipboards, which are also fun. <laughs> and from Create a Smile, uh, I thought it would be a nice uh, kind of repeating thing for the, uh, from the background to, to title. And now I'm using a stencil from Create a Smile. This is Wild Waves or something. Uh, with modeling paste, with, which is also almost too dry to add. <laughs> so it's really, really heavy and it won't go perfectly. But nice thing about modeling paste is that you can take it away with palette knife if you, if you did it wrong. If you want it away, you can take it away. But uh, I wanted to add this because I don't want this background to be too uh, green and black. So I wanted to give some texture and some, some more white on the background. And now I'm making my paper cluster. Uh, as I showed you before, I have this nice oval uh, die cuts uh, I made before. So I'm using them. Um, as uh, paper layers. They are not my frames or nothing like that. Uh, I just want to give some more dimension with them. They actually, um, when you see the whole layout, uh, and you're a horse woman like me, <laughs> you get the idea of horseshoes, because you see like the half oval thing between the layers, you actually might think that should look like a horse shoe, but it was not on purpose. So I could say at this point it was on purpose, but it wasn't. 
Uh, I'm using some papers from Create a Smile. These were, uh, were in Snowdance Kit, if I remember right. Uh, some are from American Crafts and some are from... Uh, I don't actually remember where I got that vellum thing. It's really, really old. Uh, I'm keeping this paper cluster thing in my hand and then just adding and adding and adding paper um, and uh, using stapler to adhere them all. Uh, if you look close, I'm sorry my hands are like not showing there at all, uh, but if you look close, you see there's no these oval things right now, because I wanted to add them uh, lastly between the layers because they don't really I don't use any glue, so you don't really, you you can't add them be, before you add the glue. So now you see the horseshoe thing. <laughs> it really might look like horseshoe. Anyway, so I'm stacking these between the layers here and there. Um, they kind of get, get this uh, layer together, and it was not on purpose. It was totally happy accident, but I'm so glad about it. Then I'm adding my pictures with double-sided tape, and one picture is smaller and the other one is much bigger. Um, these are really small, you can't see it right now, but there's my horse running wild on snowfield and it was so fun. You, if, if horse can laugh, she would have laughed there because it, it was so, so nice. She enjoyed and I was laughing like my ass off <laughs> while watching her moving. Uh, I'm adding bad hair day. Uh, I'm adding these uh, enamel dots or arrows. Um, for the layout. It's the only thing where I use these tweezers with making a layout, uh, but these are so small that my little fingers can't do it. So I'm adding some here and there, and then I'm gluing the title to the place I want it to be, or them to be, and to give uh, some color, I'm using some mist layer and now adding these enamel dots here and there to give some more colors and details. This is kind of fat layout, as you see, there's a lot of layers, uh, almost too much, but and as the pictures are so small, it really looks really busy layout, but still I'm happy about it. Now I'm using some mist to uh, add some little drops of colors here and there, and then it's finished. I hope you like it. Um, if you have any questions about the techniques I used, or you have some just ideas of what to do next, please leave a comment. I would love to hear. And thank you for watching.